In Aerodrome, you can find 30 area objectives to complete. On the bottom left side of the mine building on the map, you can find the first totem in front of the second depot door. On the bottom right, near the shore where the electrical wires cross the ground on the map, you can find the second resource totem. On the top left where the road bends, you can find the third between the two fences. On the top side where you can see a monster near a tower in the map, you have to defeat a boss in order to obtain the vault key. This will give you a side quest that asks you to open the aerodrome vault. If you will track it, you will easily find the vault entrance location. In case you miss the opportunity, you have to get at the top left external side of the mine building, where you can enter inside the vault using the key you just collected. In the middle of this room can be found a chest containing the first superb loot. On its right there is a chest with the second, while on the other side of the same room there is a military bag with the third, and in the drawer on the right from the entrance there is the fourth. Back to the tower, you can find the last resource totem on the right from the tower entrance. On the left from the entrance there is an electrical panel you can interact with. Solving its puzzle not only will enable the elevator, but also will complete the first Old World gadget objective. Use the just fixed elevator and get on top of the tower, from where you have to use the rope by double jumping to get to the plane wreck. Get inside the frontal plane side and you will find the first beer blob container near the pilot compartment. On the left from the aircraft nose you can find a chest containing the fifth super blue on top of the wing. From here you can safely reach the mine aerodrome land. On the bottom right of the area where the road bends, you can find an aerodrome checkpoint. On one side you can open the iron gate and loot the blue drawer to get the sixth super loot. In the bottom right there is a location highlighted with a yellow light, where you can find an opening manhole to use in order to explore the sewers. Down there on the left you can find a rotational puzzle to solve. This one is slightly hard to complete at your first attempt with only 10 moves you usually get. So try it again and again until you will be able to solve the puzzle. This action will drain out the black water from the sewers and complete the second old world gadget area objective. Going down there, after you approach the corridor, you will complete the underground area objective. On the first crossroad, turn to the right, where you can find a free fall area. Use it and double jump inside the broken fence. On the right, there is a second bioblob container to collect. Here on the left you can interact with an electrical panel. Once you solve its puzzle, you will open the door in the previous room location. This will also complete the third old world gadget objective. Back down in the underground area crossroad, approach the left way, where you will find another electrical panel, that once fixed will open a new area to explore. Plus, it will complete the fifth old world gadget. Once inside the room, use the fence hole on the right and follow the corridor till you reach a drawer containing the seventh super loot. On the right side of the frontal part of the mine structure, you can find a vault door you need to force open, where on the right corner you can find the eighth super loot. On the left side of the mine building, you can find the mine entrance, where on the left you can find the lodge conveyor belt. On the first turn, you can find the ninth super loot, while on the second turn, the tenth loot. At the end of it on the left you can access a new area to explore, where near the middle of the left wall you can find the last bioblob container. Near the end of the right wall you can find a drawer containing the 11th superb loot. Next you have to use the rope could walk nearby to reach the other building, where immediately in front of you can be collected the 12th superb loot from a shelf. Back to the conveyor belt room, access the area to the right where you will find a story related NPC while in front of him there is a fast travel point. Going back from where you came from, on the right from the entrance you can find a vending machine containing the 13th superb loot. On the left from the fast travel point there is a baggage control checkpoint. Immediately on the right there is a wall you can destroy using your knock fist, where you can find a toilet you can interact with, that will allow you to complete the fifth old world gadget objective upon the puzzle completion. Near the right baggage control, you can find a suitcase containing the 14th superb loot. In front of the fast travel point, 
slightly to the right, you can find an arcade that once interacted with and solved its puzzle will complete the last or world gadget. To finish in the right of this room, you can access a small shop. Here you can find a vending machine containing the 15 super balloon. Then jump over the broken wall on the left. This will allow you to reach the locket shop and find the last super balloon.